Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the process of converting an Amazfit running on the Chinese firmware to an Amazfit Pace running on the English firmware. There's just one prerequisite here. You need to update your Amazfit to the latest Chinese firmware before following this tutorial. Do not ignore this warning. I actually did the first time I tried this, ran into issues, so had to go back, re-update. It's a chore. So please update your Amazfit to the latest Chinese firmware before continuing. So now that we've got that out of the way, the first thing you do is get ADB and Fastboot drivers installed. In case you haven't done that already or you aren't aware of how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description below. Check that out. Now once that's done, connect your Amazfit to the PC via the Cradle and a micro USB cable. Now head on over to this thread from XDA and download the archive from this link. You can find a link to the thread in the description under the download section. Once you've done that, extract the zip file. Go into the folder, hold shift and right click, select open command window here. Now type ADB devices. As long as you have the ADB drivers set up right, you will see a reply like this. If you don't, you need to go back and get the ADB drivers set up. Next up, we're gonna move the files that we extracted from the zip. To the MA's fit. So just type the following commands ADB push BO hit tab, it will complete. Now just type in slash SD card slash and hit enter. Once that's done, again type in ADB push SY hit tab, it'll finish again slash SD card slash hit enter. This time it's gonna take longer because this is a larger file. Wait for it to complete. Once that's done, we're back to ADB push FL hit tab and then again slash SD card slash hit enter. And now one more time ADB push M tab to complete slash SD card slash hit enter. That's done. So now type in ADB shell reboot bootloader, hit enter. And now we can see your Amazfit boot into fast boot. So now we type in fast boot devices to check that fast boot drivers are set up correctly. If this doesn't show up, if you don't get a reply here, you need to go back and make sure that your fast boot drivers are set up right. So once we've ensured that the fastboot drivers are set up right, type in fastboot boot amazfit dash mod dash recovery dot img. Hit enter. Now you will get a failed reply here. Don't worry about it. That is what is supposed to happen. Now if you notice, the display of your amazfit will change from fastboot to this exclamation sign. And that means we are in recovery. So now once again, just to confirm, we type in ADB devices and it would show recovery. So you're good as long as it does that. So next up, type in ADB space shell, hit enter. Type in CD slash data slash media slash zero slash enter. And now type in LS, enter. So now we can see the files available in that folder. So go ahead, type in sh space flash underscore eng underscore version dot sh. Hit enter. Hopefully you don't make any typos like I did. So guys, here when it comes to creating system.img.bak, it can take as long as 30 minutes. It can get stuck here for 30 minutes. When I say 30 minutes, it's not a YouTuber uh, exaggerating when it's five minutes saying 30 just to be safe. It actually takes up to 30 minutes. It took around 30 minutes for me. So don't worry, it is gonna take time. In the meantime, you can actually just Minimize the window, go open the browser, head on over to C4 Retech and watch other videos of mine. So yeah, anyway guys, jokes apart, it's gonna take a while. I'll be back with you once it's done.
So once it's done, you will get this request, do not turn off or remove the USB cable, that would break your watch, Please press enter to continue or control C to stop. So go ahead, hit enter. And now this is going to take a few more minutes. And once you see finished over there, go ahead, type reboot, hit enter. So this point, your Amazfit's display will stop displaying the exclamation and will reboot. And when it boots up, it is going to be an Amazfit base with the English firmware. So there you go, a quick little tutorial on how to convert your Chinese Amazfit into an English Amazfit base. If you did find this video useful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, vote it down. And for more videos like this, including the full review of the Amazfit base coming soon, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you do want to pick an Amazfit base, I wouldn't really know why you're watching this video if you don't own one. But anyway, if you do want to pick one up, I'll leave a direct link in the description below. Use that if you want to help the channel out. And that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.